In this lecture, we will discuss how we can make sense of data using frequency distribution table. To put it in simple terms, frequency is how often something occurs. For example, if I drink 3 cups of coffee on Mondays and 2 cups of coffee on Tuesdays, then my frequency of drinking coffee is 3 on Monday and 2 on Tuesday. By counting these frequencies, we can make a frequency distribution table. Let's take an example to see how does a frequency distribution for qualitative data helps in the interpretation of data. Assume that I surveyed 50 people on the brand of shoes that they wear or like to wear. And these are the results that I have got. There are 5 brands listed in this table. Nike, Adidas, Reebok, Bata and Woodland. Is this table making much sense to you? It is not, right? Let's make a frequency distribution for this data. If we count the number of times Nike appears in our table, we get 19. Similarly, Reebok appears 8 times, Woodland appears 5 times, Adidas appears 13 times and Bata appears 5 times. I have summarized these counts in the table presented here and this is what we call frequency distribution table. By looking at this table, we can see that if we talk about popularity, then Nike is the leader, Adidas is second, Reebok is third and Bata and Woodland are fourth. No doubt, this table offers more insight than the original data that I had shown earlier. To state it formally, a frequency distribution is a tabular summary of data showing the number of items in each of several non-overlapping classes. In our example, the 5 shoe brands that we have taken are the 5 classes. So this is all about the frequency distribution. In the next lecture, I will talk about relative frequency and percent frequency distributions.